Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. We finally have a date for the next big announcement from DJI. It's July 18th at 10 a.m. in New York City. And the really exciting part is nobody knows what they're releasing on that date. That's not entirely true. Obviously, DJI knows and the engineers that built it know. Their marketing guys know. Their beta testers know. Probably a small group of press and YouTubers were brought in for an advanced look at the product they know. All right, so thinking about it, there's a lot of people that know what this product's gonna be, but none of them can talk about it. So anybody like me that's talking about this product is pure speculation. We have no inside information. And unlike the release of the Phantom 4 Pro V2, where I was really lucky enough to be invited in to get this thing early and play with it and put it up in the air and test it and put some clips together, I wasn't invited in for this launch. And that's not a big deal. I mean, I'm happy anytime they bring me in and show me a new product and maybe I'll get lucky next time. So no big deal there. But what I love about this company is that when they're gonna come out with a new product, they build this incredible wave of excitement. Their marketing team are geniuses to put together these pictures that sort of look like something, but don't really look like anything, but they're related to the product. So people like me spend the next 30 days going crazy trying to figure out what that picture is and how it relates to the product. Now, if you look at the picture closely, and a lot of people have talked about this already, you see this sort of snow globe picture, like a 360 parabolic picture of a landscape, and it was taken from above. So. I've got two drones on the table. I'm betting it's gonna be a drone. I also bet it's gonna be a drone or some kind of major announcement like a drone because DJI has two types of announcements. They'll do one for minor upgrades like the Phantom 4 Pro V2 where it's really just a web announcement. But when they schedule an event, whether it's California, it's in Vegas or it's in New York City, there's product coming. They're bringing a product there and they're bringing a lot of people in to look at that product to talk about it. Now, I'm lucky enough that I was invited to the event. Thank you, DJI, for that. I can't wait to be there. I love going to those events. So when I'm there, I'll take a ton of pictures. I'll try to do some interviews and I'll give you guys the update as soon as I get back and can put a clip together. But between then and now, I really want to give you some insight into what I think they're going to be releasing. And I don't like to just take, you know, shoot from the hip kind of guesses of what I think they're going to build. I really like to put my engineer's hat on and look at the market and think about what technological changes have taken place in the last two years that if I were designing a product for DJI, these are must-have features that are in whatever product they're going to release. And again, I'm assuming it's going to be a drone. Now, I've got the Mavic Pro here. I've got the Phantom 4 here. These two are my go-to drones. I fly these things more than any other drone I have. I use this one when I'm traveling, or I'll use the Mavic Air. I use this one when I'm flying around the house, or I've got uh, someplace I'm driving to where I'm not getting on an airplane. These are fantastic drones. So as an engineer, if I were in that product development meeting, I'd be hard-pressed to figure out what I'd want to change on these two drones but I have a couple of ideas of what I think is coming. The other thing I'd like to say is that DJI from a marketing perspective and from a product release perspective are brilliant and they look for competition in the space. So if you think about when the Mavic Pro came out originally, it was released right when the product from GoPro came out. So when they announced the Karma, they announced this product. Immediately took the press away from that Karma. It's a smaller product, faster product, better feature sets in the Karma and decimated that Karma's release. Phantom 4 was the same kind of product. There were a few products that came out around the same time. Phantom 4 was announced, crushed the competition. So I think they've kind of had a drone ready for some time and they've been building it. It's probably in a box. It's probably already shipped to the States. So on the 18th, you can immediately order it and it'll be shipped to your home. And I think they were waiting for some major changes in the landscape of other co competition out there to force them to release this drone. Well, a couple of things have happened. Now we went to CES a couple months back and there were three drones that were on the floor that weren't ready for release yet that I thought, okay, these drones are gonna push DJI to react to it with something of their own. And since then, a fourth drone was released. So let's talk about which of the two I think are gonna be released and why I think it's gonna be that particular drone. So let's look at the Mavic Pro first. So the Mavic Pro was out for a little over two years. It came out in 2016. And again, fantastic drone. There's nothing I can pick on with this drone. It flies great. It handles really well. Um, it flies fast. I mean, it's just a beautiful drone. I use it pretty much every day. Two products came out that are going to really compete with this product. The first one was the Autel Evo. Now, I've done a couple of clips on the Evo. They were supposed to have it out earlier in the summer. There were some production delays. Maybe they were tweaking the software. I don't know what it was, but we finally have an announced date for the Evo. So the Evo is a real product. It's going to be shipping. It's already out in reviewers' hands. That's a threat to this product because it's the first really competitive folding drone that's coming out. Now, I did beat it up because it's got a small sensor, 
but I saw three versions of it at CES. It had the smaller 1 over 2.3 sensor, it had a 1 inch sensor, and a 360 degree camera. If they release all three of those, that's a major competitor for the, the Mavic product. Another product that was just released, which was a total surprise to me, was the Parrot Anafi product. Now, I've ordered one of those. I don't have one of those. I know they sent them out to some reviewers to look them over. Um, I don't think it's a direct competitor to the Mavic necessarily because it's based on Wi-Fi, but it's got a pretty good range. It's got good flight time. It's got a really nice camera. It's got a unique three, you know, uh, 180 degree go up and go down kind of camera. So I think those two products being released would definitely make DJI I think, all right, it's time for us to get the Mavic Pro 2 out in the street. Maybe that's coming. With the Phantom product, we saw a product at CES from a company called X Dynamics. It was an Evolve product. And what was really nice about it was it was innovative because it had a one inch sensor, it had a removable camera, it was using carbon fiber material to build the case. And what was really special about it was the remote controller had a dual screen. So when you opened it up, you had a screen up top with all the metrics for the drone. You had a screen down the bottom where it was a first person view and you could do editing of the videos. So really innovative in a lot of different ways. Now that product hasn't been, hasn't been released yet, but it was announced. They're getting close to a release date. So you've got both the, um, the X-Dynamics products coming and you've got the unique Typhoon H Plus that was released. And that's got a big sensor on it as well. So I think if they're gonna release a Phantom 5, it's because they have to react to those two products hitting the market. And again, DJI wants to dominate the space. Their playbook is pretty much when something comes from a competitor, they've already had something ready for a while. They wait for that competitor to announce it. They release their product and they crush that competitor. So between these two products, it's gonna be a Mavic Pro 2. That's my suspicion because I feel like this product has been out for quite some time. People have been clamoring to get a new product out there. And if you've, unless you've been living in a cave somewhere in the Himalayas, everybody's been tweeting about what might be coming with that Mavic Pro 2. I'm not saying it couldn't be a Phantom 5, but I think that product's coming first. I think the competition in this space for a small compact foldable drone is really what's gonna drive that Mavic Pro 2 release. Now, if they do release the Mavic Pro 2, which again, I think is gonna be the product you'll see in the 18th, I've got a couple of speculations of what I think will be coming. One of them, I think, which is gonna be surprising is I think you'll see two versions of it. I think you'll see one of them with a little larger sensor, so it's probably gonna be like a one over 1 1.7, and you'll see another one with a full one inch sensor, and there'll be two price points according to which sensor you wanna buy. They'll also have fly more packages. I think you'll see a couple of other cool features in there. You'll see things like um, different remotes. You may see a remote where it's a basic remote, you may see a remote where you get like the plus version when the Phantom came out. So when the Phantom 4 Pro came out, you could get it as a basic remote and use your tablet with it, or you could get it as a pro version with a flip up tablet on it. You'll see longer flight times, you'll see a bigger battery, you'll see bigger speed, bigger distance. Uh, another thing I think you'll see is they may incorporate uh, cellular technology. It's something I've talked about before that I think you'll see in the Phantom 5 for sure. And that's sort of a, a backup solution for their OcuSync or for their LightBridge technology where you can take a SIM card like you have in your phone, pop it in here, pop it in your controller, and use the cellular networks to fly it. Now, whether that's used for primary flying or secondary flying, it, we'll have to see if that comes to, comes to be. But that technology has been around for a while. There have been a couple of drone companies talking about that, and I think that may be something you'll see in it as well. Uh, I think you'll see advanced crash avoidance. You'll see front, back, sides, up and down, so six-way crash avoidance on it. You'll certainly see the low noise props coming with it and the sinusoidal ESCs. And the last thing I think you'll see is probably um, a different color scheme for the product. They may go white on it. They may go red on it. We'll have to see where that goes. But I think fundamentally what you're going to get is a drone that flies longer, maybe a little larger. It's gonna have, again, faster speed, a little flight, longer flight time, um, better camera. So we'll see where that goes. And I'll put a clip together to go in a little bit more detail. But if I'm a betting man, and I'm not, but in this case I will, um, I don't think you'll see the Phantom 5 at the announcement. I think you'll see a Mavic Pro 2, and I think there'll be two versions of it. So we'll have to see how that plays out. But um, I love this product, and I still think today, if you're looking for a drone, this is the one to own. You may want to wait till the 18th to see what the new one looks like. But if they do release the Mavic Pro 2, don't give up on the original Mavic Pro, because I'm still going to fly this thing all the time. I think it's a fantastic product, and I still probably will pick up a Mavic Pro 2 with a larger sensor if it comes out, because when I put a drone up, what I'm looking to do is capture the best image I can, whether it be a picture or a video, and having that larger sensor just gives me a much better quality picture, and that's why I fly the Phantom 4. So anyway, that's my two cents. 
again, we'll be at the event. I can't wait for this thing to happen. I'm, I'm trying my best to get little secrets out of them. Nobody's talking about this product. It's locked down. Whatever it is, the doors have been shut and nobody's allowed to talk about it. So I'm speculating like everybody else. But stay tuned because I've got a couple more clips coming. We'll go into more detail on what technology I think you'll see there. Um, and that's pretty much it for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching. If you have any questions about what I talked about, if you think I'm on the money or way off on my guesses, let me know. Uh, I love putting these kind of clips together. The speculative clips are a little bit tricky because you really got to think them through, but I, I have a lot of fun putting these together. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks an awful lot for watching. And as always, happy flying. Thank you.